guys i am coming to you from your hands to truth well i want to do a little tutorial on how to precision cut your own hair and um if you kind of like know what you're doing you probably can get through it but it's very simple i'm gonna sit back and um we have a pair of shears and a comb and we would drape the client for the protection of the client, but of course I am the client, so we're gonna proceed. We're gonna take the shears. Never to take the shears out of your hand. Comb. We're gonna take these and we're gonna start a section. We're gonna part. And we're gonna over redirect to get the ends off. I'm really cutting my ends really back into the style it was in. <clears throat> you see this long hair? We're going to over direct. And comb. Keep on just, you having a, a guide, you got a Mohican strip that's going to keep on guiding you through this cut. We're going to take this. We're going to over direct. Mm -hmm. And comb. And that's to give this your own volume of its own. I'm doing a, a cut that would make the French longer than the back. We're gonna open that rip again. Mm -hmm. And comb. And what does it do? It takes a lot off the top. So in case you wanna do a curl mold, you are able to do a curl mold. I know you can kind of see it's going on. I got a lot of hair here. We're going to get to that in a minute with the, with the guy. Okay, we're going to go back to the guy that we have to do the short length at your top. We always want to keep your, your front longer than your back. And if you see where you're getting into a situation, and it's gonna throw you a curve. We over direct it again in an angle. And comb. And what that does, it gives it a whole length of its own. You see, you can get the, now you have the, where it's able to stand up on its own. The more they have, the, the more the length. Okay, we're gonna keep on going with the back, on working on the front, the length of the, the shortness of the top. We're going to re over direct again, cutting the ends off, practically, literally. Now you can see it has its own stand up ish look because you're taking the top off. We're going to keep on going over and over until we, it all ends up the same length. We keep on going over with the guide. The guide is gonna guide you to the cut. You want the you want the length in the back. I mean, you want the length in your front. So you keep guiding your arm over till you get your stand up as look. And if that's your desired length, you can stay that length or you can go shorter. I want to go stay that length. Um, 
Now this is what I want you to see. I want you to see how long this is over here, but I'm gonna transform this into a cut so you can see exactly it to blend, blend with the front. So we're gonna take that same guide. My front has really grown much like I wanted it. I just wanna take the top and the sides off mm. to a precision look. We're still going back with this same cut. We're going at an angle. Feeling. Okay, now you see I've taken that side a little lower. I'm gonna go in and do a, a more closer cut with the angles. I'm gonna part this off, kinda to where the ear line is at, to kinda get your angles in level. You always have to redirect your angles of cut that give you a sense of swing of your cut. We have a little bit more to go. If you can see the angle of this, the shortness that is becoming over here with this cut. I'm going to show you how to precision and finish getting close to your cut. I will precision cut this here. Okay, you can see where I precision cut the side. I'm gonna go in just a little bit more, leaving a sideburn look. But you can see that the front is shorter. The, sh the top is much shorter than the front now, leaving you with lovely bangs to do everything with. So I'm coming to you on the behalf of your hands is the truth. I don't only act. I'm not only a barber. I'm a hairstylist. And I'm also a teacher. Thank you for visiting my tutorial on how to 
cut your own short hair. Thank you.